Ladies and gentlemen, everybody out there, it's Phil 20, and I'm back. Check it out, I've got this uh, conglomerated mess of electrical stuff. And what I'm going to show you is... Uh, I'll go ahead and crimp this real quick while we're uh, talking about it. This I'm crimping is the last part of the output and so we've got our uh, three phase bridge rectifier that we've made. It's I mean it's got two power outputs, it's got six power inputs. For the three phase uh, and why does it have six inputs well that's the way you have to make a bridge rectifier unless you tie all three of these wires together as a Y configuration then you will have three wire in you know input you can also do it in a Delta configuration I'm just gonna make it simple and I'm gonna tie all three of these wires as a Y configuration input just be done with it. We have a configuration here. Uh, I need to solder this connection here. We can go ahead and do that real quick. This is one of the last connections. I don't want to bore you with soldering a bunch of wires. So let's get this taken care of. Now we're going to go ahead and I've got a hold of this tool today which I'm really glad I've got. I'm so happy. Could not be more grateful. And uh, say thank you to my wife that I got it everybody because she's the one that uh, sponsored th this tool and every other tool I practically own All right, so now we got that soldered so how This configuration works if I can get a close up right here We got two squiggly lines that means alternating current and then you got a positive and then you got a negative on this side so what that means is, uh, I don't know if you can see it clearly. So you got the positive, squiggly line, squiggly line, and negative. And what that means is single phase alternating current. And then we've got three of those wired in the same configuration. So with the three phase configuration, we could do a Y configuration. That's what I'm going to do. And how to do a Y configuration with this is you tie the three wires together on one side of the bridge rectifier. And the color coded wires, for instance, black, blue, and red, which is a standard for three phase colors, is going to be your three phase from the motor itself. So ladies and gentlemen, we got the wind turbine spinning barely and we're currently making a whopping 3.3 volts. It's just barely turning. It's speeding up. And this is DC power. And you can see here it says VDC. Right there, and we're at 1.2. So, ladies and gentlemen, you see it's spinning with our step up transformer, and now we got 115 volts, 124, 143. Hundred fifty, hundred sixty volts, hundred seventy, hundred eighty, hundred sixty volts. So yeah, we are making some power, and that is with the step-up transformer attached. So I'm pretty happy with uh, the results. We can get 160 volts out of it, which is uh, cool. 
I suppose. But what I'll do is I'll step up the voltage less. I'll change the voltage configuration to where it doesn't go above like uh, 90 volts because this is a customizable transform transformer configuration. I got it at the highest step up voltage setting so I can cut it in half from what it is. But it's still, you know, right now, it's still making 70 volts, 60 volts with it spinning that slow. Now you can see it's rotating slowly. So I got the bridge rectifier, I got the three phase transformer, and I've got the wind turbine in the air. It's making some power, but it's not making gigantic amounts of power. Uh, I, look, I look forward to see the current going through it, which probably won't be a lot. But I don't have a DC current tester currently, so I won't be able to test any of the direct current coming out. But I can test the three phase going into the transformers, and I can test the uh, amount of power at the transformers, how much we're making. So this has been a recap on what's going on. We do have the three phase bridge rectifiers and that wiring mess all tied together and heat sinks on the bridge rectifiers those came with uh, the motors they was already attached to the motors because you always need heat sinks on the bridge rectifiers uh, all three motors had three heat sinks on it one of the motors didn't have a heat sink on it and you know i think it's a bad idea and uh, there's other people that think it's a bad idea so i'm gonna hop off here and let you guys go i was showing you the three phase bridge rectifier i'm making power output in direct current i can now attach the power from these terminals straight to the battery bank and i've got power from the wind yahoo sounds great i'll see you guys next time this is phil 20 with solar power electricity and electronics peace out hello ladies and gentlemen thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video there's lots more content coming click the subscribe button below make sure you come back for more because there's great content always coming up every day in this channel see you next time peace